Welcome to another edition of Horror Tales from Around the Net. Tonight's episode, Sonic's Test. Saturday, May 29th, 2013. Upon reaching our graduation point, a couple of friends said that they had created an online server for the game Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and that we should all play the game. I didn't think that the Sonic's games were multiplayer. When I questioned it, Chris, my best friend, said, It took a bit of modding, but we can all play it. I'll need to get your copy so I can edit it for online play. Chris was, of course, smarter than me, so who was I to question him? The only reason my friends had done this in the first place was because we had all been searching for a good MMORPG that was free and wasn't RuneScape. After finding nothing that interested us, he decided to take matters into his own hands. As soon as I got home, I searched Craigslist to see if anyone was selling the game. Craigslist failed, so after that I moved on to the next best thing, Amazon. Sure enough, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 came up, but I wasn't about to pay $42.99 for the damn thing, so I did what any sensible person would do, click the buy used for 95 cents, even if I ended up getting a disc and a million pieces, it was better bound to be better than paying forty two ninety nine. Wednesday, May 29th, 2013. It took four days for Sonic 2 to get mailed to me, and by then my friends were already getting bored of the game. I wasn't mad, but I just felt like I missed out on a great time. Chris, feeling sympathetic, said he'd play a few games with me. Later on that night, I looked at the game and said, eh, what the heck. I never was in the Sonic much, nor had I played any of the originals. I put it in my computer and installed the game. I was amazed by the fact that the disc could even be read. The disc was scratched all over. They were minor, but there were still a lot. The game loaded, and soon after I got to the screen where I choose whether I wanted to play one or two players. I chuckled a bit after realizing it was a two-player game after all. This got me only meagerly excited about the online server. After all, we were about to graduate, so that usurped most of my excitement. Then I saw options on the menu. I now knew with the options, I could change whether I want to play with Sonic or Tails. I decided to play as, well, Sonic of course. I left the option menu, and I pressed start. Damn it! I cursed as an evil laugh played. It turns out it was the one from Sonic.exe. Leave it to me to buy the fanboy copy whose goal is to troll everyone's lives. Text appeared. It read, So you chose to play with me. You'll regret it. There's still time to turn back. Do you want to continue? A yes or no popped up. I clicked yes without really giving it much thought. Another laugh and more text. This is now a test, not a game. Will you gamble with the souls of others, or will you be selfless and save them all? The game started. Nothing was different, really. Aside from usual creepypasta BS, I was playing as Sonic.exe. Well, at least that's what the sprite looked like. Enemies were there, and I had uh, 999 rings. Nothing nightmarish or hellish. The only thing out of place was the sprite. I got halfway through the level when my dad came in and told me to go to bed. It 1am, and though I may be 18, I still lived under their rules. Did I hate it? Yes. Did I care? No. I exited the game, and before it closed, another Sonic.exe laugh played. More text appeared. Taking a break? You'll regret it. I will introduce you to death. I yawned and shut off my monitor like I always do. I think I was asleep before I hit the pillow. Thursday, May 30th, 2013. Too busy to play the game. Friday, May 31st, 2013. Friday, May 31st, 2015. It rained today, and I got into a car accident. See, it was raining, and I just wanted to get home, because it was the last day of school, but it wasn't speeding or anything. I took the back roads and I guess the brakes went out on my car. This happened at about 1.30 p.m. If I hadn't been wearing my seatbelt, I could have gone through the windshield and died. 
I was bummed for a while. I decided to play Sonic 2 some more. Maybe that silly Sonic.exe could cheer me up. He better or he'll regret it, I thought. I had to start over from Emerald Hill Zone because you can't save mid-level. When I pressed start, I heard the damn laugh again. Text appeared. Did you enjoy meeting death? Yes or no? I stared at the screen. I chose no and I heard the laugh. Time to finish your test. The game started. Again, nothing was out of the ordinary other than the Sonic.exe-like sprite that I was controlling. I finished Emerald Hill Zone Act 1. The screen cut black and the laugh played over again. Text appeared saying, you finished. The screen cut to black. More text appeared on the black screen saying, two will burn before the screen cut black again. Shortly after, a picture of a head-on collision appeared. Both cars were engulfed in flames. The driver was still inside the car. The image stayed for about 10 seconds before it cut the black. I'd better see you tomorrow or you'll regret it. Shortly after, I received a phone call. Chris was having a small shindig at his place. I called my friend Caleb to see if he could give me a ride there. Luckily, he said yes. I got there at about 11 p.m. and left at 1.30 as Caleb was taking me home. We both saw a sort of fog ahead being revealed by the neon lights. As we drove, we both saw a light source. That light source was a fire that was caused by a head-on collision from two cars. I grew sick as I saw one of the drivers dead in their vehicle. Emergency vehicles were all over attempting to put out the flames. What scared me the most is that the image I saw earlier while playing Sonic 2 wasn't just a picture. It was how I would see it from my point of view. Almost as if someone had gone into the future, put a camera behind my eyes, and snapped a shot. I killed them, I muttered right before I blacked out. Saturday, June 1st, 2013. I woke up in the morning in my bed. I looked over at my computer, frightened. I didn't want to play. Then I remembered a phrase I read. Or you'll regret it. It was about 10.40 a.m., I hesitantly opened the game and started Emerald Hill Zone Act 2. The laugh played as the screen cut black. Text appeared. The more you play, the more souls I will collect. The screen went black and shortly after more text appeared. If you miss a day, it will your soul next. I had to play. I was too scared of what would happen should I not play. I felt selfish. I felt powerless. I bawled as I played Act 2 of Emerald Hill Zone when I finished. His laugh played followed by text. No rules, no boundaries. A picture of my cat Mello appeared on the screen. He was dead, having been run over. I shook my head and rushed outside quickly. I called him. I wanted to save him. He heard me and began his trot across the street. Then, in an instant, a speeding car ended him. I fell down weak. I rose slowly and walked over to his body. There was blood, and he was faultened. I cried so hard. I buried him and walked back inside to my computer. I closed out the game. A laugh played. Want revenge? Yes or no? For some reason, I didn't blame the game. I just blamed the driver as if this entity on my computer didn't exist. I chose yes. Play tomorrow. Sunday, June 2nd, 2013. Yes, I played. I finished up as quickly as I could. I don't even remember what the text before the game said. I just played. I didn't realize that wouldn't bring Mello back. I played and at the end, the laugh and text. Ready for your wish? Yes or no? I chose yes, and I saw the same car on my screen. It was flipped over. It was at the end of my street and right in front of the house that is perpendicular to the street. I waited, and at 1 p.m., it I saw the car drive, and then the front right tire popped. The drive braked hard, which caused it to flip and skid to the end of the street. I heard a bang as it hit the car parked in that person's driveway. 
I walked over to examine what I had done, what my twisted mind forced me to do. I regretted walking over. The driver was dead. So were his six and 12 year old kids. I walked home and locked myself in my room. I looked at my hands evilly. What have I done? I walked to the monitor to close the game. The laugh played once again, and text appeared. You are selfish, and upon your death, you too will burn with all the others. No rules, no boundaries. The game closed. It is 2.20 p.m. now. I am writing this crying. If you die because of me, I am sorry. I can't stop or I'll die. I also can't stop because a part of me enjoys this. I can't stop because I am selfish. I pray that no associated with me dies. I don't want to lose my friends, family, or anyone. I've started cutting myself to get rid of all this. Even with all the guilt I feel, I know I will keep play because I am scared to face what I have caused many others to face now. Nothing I do helps. I am contemplating suicide, but I know he will get me if I end it now. I, my computer, is old and slow, and any recording software I get online just comes out blurry or pixelated. When I have the money to afford better one, I will buy one and show you all the truth. I will update everyone on what is going on, and I will describe the images as best I can so that maybe if you're next, you can protect yourself. So whoever is reading this, if I caused you pain, I am sorry. The end. This has been another story from Horror Tales Around the Net. Join us next time for another terrifying tale. It rained a day and I got into a car accident. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's not funny, but oh my god. That's just so casually written. <laughs>